The brakes were tested in a sudden deceleration to simulate an aborted takeoff. The airplane's response to controls at takeoff speeds was tried in a series of fast taxis. Visibility over the nose is as good as in the DC-6 and DC-7. Only light forces are required to rotate to takeoff attitude. Lateral response is good on liftoff and climb. By the end of October, the range of tests had extended to an altitude of 37,000 feet and a speed of 550 miles per hour. The longest flight was five hours and 30 minutes. Another goal of the current program is to investigate control characteristics at high Mach numbers. Maximum landing, takeoff, and climb performance will be evaluated and systems tests will continue during all flights. In a quarter century of commercial air transport, Douglas airplanes have flown more passengers than all other airliners combined and earned an unrivaled reputation for dependability. On the basis of the first test flights and the years of developmental, structural, and systems tests already completed, we are confident that the Douglas DC-8 jetliner will set new records for serviceability. Uh, Edwards Tower 08 Delta on the downwind. Uh, call gear down. Uh, Roger, gears down and locked. Ready for landing. After two hours and six minutes of flight, the DC-8's landing gear touched down on the runway of Edwards Air Force Base.